Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm here uh, from NTU. I'm a PhD candidate in uh, computer vision and machine learning. And uh, my research is on uh, human action recognition in video, the uh, real video. So I try to recognize, uh, understand the human action in a, a video sequence. And today I uh, take an uh, introduction into uh, introduction to machine learning and um, it's focused on the application on uh, computer vision. So uh, in my talk, at first I will introduce what is the machine learning, what is computer vision, and then um, I show some uh, example of the real application of uh, machine learning and computer vision that we use every day, but maybe we, we, we not recognize it. And um, I go through two simple uh, machine learning and computer vision example. The first is uh, a inspiring example on uh, skin detection. So in, from that example, we, I, I, I give uh, inspiration why we need uh, some, uh, something called uh, machine learning algorithm. And then uh, I go through a framework for recognize the object in image and then um, at the two last section, I will show you the, some results so you can know more about machine learning and computer vision. So what is machine learning? So let's, let's, let's take a piece of take from uh, Wikipedia. So first of all, machine learning is uh, a branch of uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, that is a set of algorithm that uh, allow computer to behave uh, somehow involve, involve when the more data, so the more intelligent the compute. And the main focus of the machine learning at the moment is uh, to automatically learn the, the, the pattern from the data and then make some kind of decision. So uh, we all know about the Terminator, one of the uh, dream about uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, what is computer vision? Actually, uh, also from the Wikipedia, uh, that's a set of method for acquiring, process, analysis, and try to understand the image data uh, from the real world. So the image data may be taken from a digital camera, maybe from the RAIN camera. It means that we take the deep of the scene and then analyze it as in the Kinect. The, the Microsoft Kinect is a kind of, uh, of, of uh, range image and uh, people try to, the system try to recognize the action from the range image. So that's a kind of, that, so there are may, many, many ways to take the data, emit data from the real world. And um, the goal of the computer vision is to, to try to produce a uh, numerical information so that the computer can understand. So, because I, I, let me take some uh, word about the computer vision because uh, at first, in about 40 years ago, people think that uh, make the computer to see is very easy. And uh, at MIT, there's a project, uh, that's a, a, a final year project for student in the undergraduate student to, to try to understand the world from a camera. And from that moment, people feel, understand that it's really, really difficult for computer to see or understand something. It's because of every, when you, um, people look at the, the, the scene, we see the face, we see the, the object, but the, when the camera, when the, 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 the machine see an image, it see only the number, a lot of number, just an array, a matrix of number. So we have to attract the information, how to represent the information from that so that the um, computer can understand. So the, the ultimate goal of the computer vision is to attract useful information from image. And the question on how to represent the knowledge is one of the key, the, the key question in uh, artificial intelligence at the moment. And, um, I take the, the image of the, the movie poster for the movie The Eagle Eye here because of, if you uh, have seen that movie, you can see a lot of uh, fantastic uh, fantasy uh, fiction scene about the uh, computer vision. 
for example, a machine want to understand the person talking very far away and it try to recognize the, the way of a, a glass of coffee and from that it uh, understand what people talking because uh, it, it did not uh, it, it, it cannot uh, hear anything and it cannot see the mouth of people so it try to extract the information just from the way of the the coffee in the coffee cup that that's the, of course it's the that's fiction and um, here is the how the computer vision and machine learning related to other so machine learning and computer vision is very uh, huge topic and it's related to uh, many uh, many research area for example the physics for the mathematics and especially machine learning is uh, uh, solidly based on the statistic and probabilistic so the top uh, title is a bit uh, overwhelming it's a uh, cover two of the largest research area and very active at, at, at the moment as a machine learning and computer vision so in this talk I will try to take a general on what is machine learning and um, try to give up somehow on uh, how to apply it in computer vision application and uh, from that you can answer and understand and can extend it to apply it in your uh, try to ap apply it in your problem as well um, I take the simple examples for demonstration and uh, then I saw the resource about the uh, machine learning and computer vision. So um, uh, we take a look at the application of machine learning and computer vision uh, that we use every day. So we can uh, uh, nowadays we have uh, digital camera and uh, almost all of them have a function of face detection. Uh, it's the uh, so the the, the commer, com commercial commercial or uh, uh, product is uh, built on the uh, paper research paper from 2001 uh, 2001 that's a, a paper on face detection and before that people have tried to detect the uh, detect the face but it's very slow and now from from that moment from 2001 so there's a paper that can detect the face very fast in real time so that can embed in the digital camera so you can search for that uh, for the keyword of visual viola zone face detection uh, to know more about the technology and you can see for example the the, the cameras uh, can detect the face that the, even the human cannot for, for example the face of a ghost in the scene and um, another another application is the uh, Google visual image search. Uh, before Google only search image based on the text, but now you can uh, you can upload an image and search for the image that contains similar content. Um, Google Picasa is a. Uh, and I think it's uh, excellent, uh, excellent application of computer vision and machine learning. It can detect face and it can recognize the face of people and group the image together. And it's uh, done very fast. And um, we have a Picasso face movie. Uh, it takes the, the face of people and then it align it and make a movie so we can see the chronicle a uh, movie of your face over time from uh, you are a baby until the you grow up and um, when you up upload uh, you, you take you take a, a movie clip by your uh, mobile phone or digital camera by hand you so it's very uh, sexy camera and a lot of motion so YouTube have provide uh, a state stabilization function that can align the stabilize the the, the the scene so it's not seeking anyway and um, it's a really amazing uh, application you can go to uh, photoscene.net that is the we 
that system will build a 3D world. So that's from the, the photo that tourists taken around the world. So let's say um, people come to, um, uh, come to Republic uh, Polytechnic and take photo, then upload to the internet. So when the system collects a lot of photo, it can reconstruct re the 3D of the, the 3D, um, so 3D, um, 3D world, the virtual world of the of, 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 of the unit of the Republic uh, Polytechnic. So we can go and look at the uh, everything. Just like you play uh, the 3D 3D game. So um, I did, um, go through a inspiring example uh, at two demonstration uh, why we need uh, ma machine learning. So um, let's take a, a problem of uh, detect the skin in image uh, or a video stream, uh, video stream, for example, you take a camera, a webcam camera, and you detect where is the hand, where is the face, or something. So one possible solution is uh, you read the image uh, in uh, red, green, blue channel, and then you manually define the range of the, the of, of the skin, human skin. Let's say the, the human skin is uh, somehow look like yellow or something, brown. And then you, you search over the image and find where the, the, the point, is, the, the pixel is in that range. So we define that this is a, that, that, that is a the human color, uh, human skin in the image. And um, so that's uh, very simple and uh, easy to implement. But uh, the accurate is uh, define how well we understand the RGB and how well we define the range. And um, when the, 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 the light chain, let's say when I stand here, maybe my, my skin is a, a bit dark. So your method will fail to detect. And um, to detect the, the some range, different range, you, uh, different image you need to detect define a different range. So that is very time consuming. And so we may have a solution based on machine learning. By we take we have a lot of image and we know on we people know on limit where is the skin. So we manually just uh, select it very simple, that's draw a um, rectangle around that region and uh, from that, we, we have a kind of training data. And here we have a, a, a terminology named the feature. So here in, in, the, in the problem of uh, skin detection, the feature is the, the color, color pixel. Then we label the skin region, the every, every pixel of the, of the skin region in the image at one and other not non skin let's say the grass or the wall or the chair as the non skin at zero and then we use a machine learning uh, algorithm to change a kind of classifier so that it can uh, dis discriminate between the color the for skin and the color for anything else um, we have uh, some technique here so it's a uh, for example, the support vector machine or linear regression or maybe the neural network. Neural network is of, uh, maybe the people is very familiar with it. Um, then we use the, we have a new image and we try to detect that from the, uh, the detect the, the reason of skin in the image. And um, here in the next, I will try to use the one of the open source ma machine learning uh, library called uh, Scikit-learn. So here is the, that's a piece of course for that. Yeah, so um, I use, uh, here's the, we have uh, the SciPy is a scientific programming library and um, uh, use uh, military uh, to um, read the image then we have a mask where we have a annotate where skin is. So we, we take the skin. So each row of the skin here will be the one pixel point. Then we um, 
we combine it, then we take a we take a label for for each of the the row in the the x here. So each row of the x have a element in y that we take it at at annotated it at skin or non skin. Then then uh, we import a a machine learning uh, algorithm, then try to fit it. The fit function here means we try to learn the model, try to fit the parameter of the classifier so that it can classify the skin and non-skin reason. And then when we have a, a novel image, a new image, we can detect and so where the, the reason of the, the skin in that image using the gender classifier here. So the that's the very simple approach to demonstration. So by that approach, we don't have to manually define the range of the, the, the skin color. We just take the computer to, to learn that, uh, that range from the, because we have an example, this is a skin, this is not the skin. And so the machine have to learn uh, to try to, to figure out, figure out the, pipe, the, 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 the pattern of the, to differentiate between that. So, that's a very simple approach, and uh, of course the, the result is not very uh, very good. Uh, and the, the point here is uh, the feature we use is a uh, pixel color. So we try to classify just one small pixel of the, the of the image. So that is doesn't make sense because uh, we have a skin is often come together as a reason in the image. So, but the with the machine learning we can embed that information embed that kind of, uh, let's say, the prior information knowledge into the framework. So we have a more complicated uh, machine learning algorithm to detect that. For example, the uh, conditional, conditional random field or macro random field, something like that. If you want to um, understand more about that, so let's take a keyword here. And um, so one of the, the app, the, it, this advantage of the approach is that uh, we need to manually define somehow for 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 some kind of application. It is very uh, uh, time-consuming and 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 uh, man a lot of money to manually define the 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 uh, annotate the data. So we have to collect data and then the collect the data is maybe very expensive and time consuming. So that's uh, one of the, so when we collect the data, the more prior knowledge we have, the better, because uh, that can embed and make the, the, the machine learn better. Uh, so we, we go to the, the second example, a simple uh, framework for recognize the object in image. So let's say, for example, we, we want to, um, to find the, the f um, we have a camera around your, the several webcam uh, <coughs> around your, your house, and um, let's say, and then you you train the machine to to learn the object of all of uh, your object. Let's say, <coughs> the object for your uh, laptop, your um, t-shirt or something, and then um, somehow we 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 lost it and we we try to find where it is in the house. So just take it the sample image and try to, to, to find where is the, the object in, in our house. That's a kind of uh, application. So um, we, we go to something called the back of work model. The, the overall idea is um, we represent, here's the, the, an image, and um, we take the local feature. The local feature will be something that uh, describes the local information in the image. So, for example, the uh, a small reason here we describe uh, the eye of an owl here, and uh, some owl de detect the leg or something. Then um, we so each each reason here will be re we extract the the reason here and it will be the kind of vector. And um, so, in the first step, we 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 already encode the information from the image into some number. <coughs> so, and then the whole image here, the whole image of the object will be represented at a lot of the, a lot of feature vector. Each uh, 
oven here is a, a feature vector will will be represented as a feature vector. So the whole image here will be a set of the image, the, the set of feature. For example, for the, the object here, we have a face. So each uh, each feature will be some reason in the face or the mouth, uh, eyes, and the nose or something. So it is an, it is very very intuitive approach, and um, so here is the object, and we call here is a back of wood because uh, let's say the eye and the nose here or uh, mouth is one word that describes uh, the object. And um, when we have a, a, an object and we have a, a visual word here, so we we can count how many uh, how many times each particular um, word appear. So for example, the, the uh, for a face object here, we have a two eyes. So it's something here, but uh, it's a part of uh, an apple here. There's no in the face or something like that. Here is a bicycle, and we have a, a part of a bicycle very high reason here. So that's an intuitive. And um, after the after this step, we have uh, an image of object. For example, the face here will be represented as a number, a, a, vec a numerical vector. So whenever we, we have a represent object at a numerical information, we can pass it to any of machine learning to learn, the, to try to figure out the pattern, the, the pattern. So the next step. So here, <laughs> each point here, you can see each point at a, an, um, an object so each point can be, can be understand at a, a, an image, a training image. So we have a lot of training image, for example, for the, for the face here and the, another image that is non-face. So it is, will be separated in the hyperdimensional space and we try to set, set, figure out it by a hyperplane. Something. So here's a, some, a piece of code to uh, to attract the local feature, the core is the surf. It's ultra fast, uh, uh, ultra fast uh, feature attracted from the object image. So um, we use the OpenCV library. Maybe if you work with ContorVision, you know that uh, the OpenCV is uh, very popular. And uh, we use SciPy again. So we attract the feature by foot, read the image using the OpenCV library, and then that's one step to to attract the feature. Here is the, where the key point is, and here is the 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 vector that describes each region in the image. So, for example, the, for the surf, we uh, use the surf uh, implementation from OpenCV, and then we you call we call that uh, call that function to attract the key point and the description feature. Then next step, we build the visual world by first attract the, the feature from a number of training image, and then um, in the code, the app list here is the, the, the local feature. So let's take a little file, and from each file, we attract the key point and the description. Then we uh, combine all the, the description together. Is the feature extractor a separate uh, library, or is it a predefined function? It's a it's a separate library. Uh, so feature extractor is the name of the library. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. We, we 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 here we have uh, the a class for that. Right. So we have a, a some um, parameter you define. Right. So after this this step, so uh, in this step we extract the feature and prepare to prepare for the building the visual for the building of a visual vocabulary. The next step to build a visual vocabulary is quick quantize them. Uh, so let's say the, because uh, the, the iPad of uh, many person, many people look very similar. So we just compile, com quantize it together. So it looks something like an, an eye because uh, all the eyes look similar together, right? So we quantize, they call it a quantization. So um, just define a visual vocabulary with the size, and then um, we fit the, the 
the list of features we extracted before. Here we use uh, the k-mean algorithm from the uh, from the scikit-learn library, and um, then given a, a, a list of features, we will try to quantize it into the histogram that we saw in the in the previous uh, emit slide, emit uh, in previous slide. Um, <coughs> So now we try to represent an, an object image as a histogram of visual world. We, we define a, a class a back of word model, and then um, with, with the sum, we may, may have a different kind of uh, feature attractor, and then we have uh, the size of the visual vocabulary, the list of the training to build the visual vocabulary, and then Given a novel image, we can extract the we extract the feature from the image, and then we quantize them to create the object representation. So, after this step, we will see that uh, just understand that we have a vector that uh, represent an object uh, image as an, a vector. Then we combine together uh, to make a, a framework. That's the um, we use here. The the sub for the feature attraction, we build a back of word model, and then we train some image. We, let's say we have a here's a, um, a, a list of image. Let's say for the face and a non face, and uh, for for each image we have a label for it. So we will attract the we represent the each object image as a vector as in the previous step, and then combine it together. So we have a a matrix here with each row is represent one image and we have a column vector another column vector when each element represent the label of the corresponding image it will be one if the it it if it is a, a phase and zero in any way and then um, we uh, import a machine learning to keep a machine learning library called the SVM and then we fit it. So now, given uh, let's say you you want to search for something, you give an image of it, a preferred image, and then you search uh, around the the database and and find where it is. So the 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 common step for the applier, so the for apply a uh, machine learning algorithm, we need to represent the data in numerical format. Somehow, that's depend on your, your uh, on on your application, and then you collect the, the data to train the Excel, to collect the sample for the training, and then we apply the the model. So we don't have to develop a machine learning algorithm. We can use uh, it a lot of uh, of existing library. So so the the the, the key step is how you re you represent represent your data. So um, I will provide a code and related matter in, in this uh, at the moment there's uh, not yet. So uh, if you want to learn more about machine learning and computer vision, I will provide the source here. We have a textbook, some textbook here. Uh, it's a kind of um, machine learning theory or something. And um, if you want to take a research paper <laughs> On the top rank conference, you can go to CP paper that uh, they just uh, upload the, the the papers there, and you can look at it uh, very up to date. And um, we have uh, a new change on uh, on the education that's called the uh, online university with a lecture video, with the quiz, and with the programming assignment every week, and that's free. So. We have a two of, 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 uh, of the leader here, the Coursera and the Uda City. So um, it is the learning in that the online is where a lot of fun. It's not scary as in the, our university of life. So you can try. And now, at, uh, Coursera and Uda City now provide some of the course that is very interesting. That is basic computer science courses. So. Um, Here's uh, some course that related to machine learning. In Coursera, we have machine learning. That's um, in uh, start from the 
beginning of this year. And um, it will start uh, every, I say, I think it's about uh, every two or three, three months. So you may uh, enroll for the next open. Then we have uh, an advanced course uh, called probabilistic model. It just finished uh, it last week. And um, that's uh, two very interesting courses uh, by Udacity University Online. Uh, the first one is introduction to AI. So you have a look, uh, understand what is a artificial intelligence or something. And then we have an uh, interesting quote here, course here on um, AI as well, but it's a very practice. They, they try to, to teach you how to uh, code to programming a self-driving car. Uh, so it take uh, it has quiz and programming assignment, and assignment is in Python. So it's very interesting. And uh, for for any of you who want to practice on on the on the machine learning, it, we have uh, this uh, this book, the Collective Intelligence. It uh, implement in the book uh, they implement the. Uh, machine learning algorithm in Python and have a real world example in web application. Then uh, <coughs> here's a, a number of open source library. Uh, we have a scikit that I used in the previous slide. It's a, the one of the, the most active uh, library at the moment. And uh, it is uh, supported by Google and uh, India in France. And, uh, we have Orange is another library for, and it have a, a visual programming. So we have we have a block. So um, very simple. You you can just take this block and uh, point it to the next block and together. That's like uh, uh, playing your route. And uh, it is a uh, very specific for the live for support vector machine. Then we have another. Uh, another library that is uh, specific on something, for example, for the brain or uh, um, um, parallel. And uh, here's the website where it keep a, a list up to date, the software of, on machine learning. And um, if you want to learn machine learning so better, we, we, we know the SciPy and NumPy because that's a scientific programming library. And it is the core of almost the, the machine learning library. Then uh, about computer vision, we have uh, some textbook here. So it's better to understand the image processing before you come to the uh, computer vision world. So um, here's some uh, very classic textbook. And here's the two new book that is open. You, you can download it from the website with uh, some, um, even the, the code for the Example code for the for 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 the example in the book, and um, this this one is uh, my favorite, but uh, it is a, a kind of hack on statistic, but it's very interesting. Yeah. It's finished, and then uh, if you want to uh, uh, practice computer vision, this the book I I think is uh, it's in Python, and then uh, they implement the algorithm in Python and have an interesting uh, example. Then we have a classic book on OpenCV. We learned the computer vision by practicing the OpenCV library. But actually, it in code, the code in C. But at the moment, the version, the new ad version, have a Python API. And you can look at the document online. Just search for the OpenCV. And uh, we have a lot of open source as well. The OpenCV library, the Pygame, have uh, support some kind of basic uh, computer vision and uh, image processing. Then SciPy and NumPy, of course, is uh, the core. And uh, it's a Python image library, very popular in the Python uh, community. And um, we have a course, free online course, computer vision by University of Berkeley. Uh, California Berkeley and uh, actually have no assignment and uh, again you, you can go to CV paper to look at the new uh, research paper on the area and then um, for any of you interested in production of CVP of uh, CV so you can go to the this address maintained by David Law the author of SIP he maintained a list of company that uh, produced the CV 
the Comptovision product. So um, thank you for your attention. I think we have time for about one question. Wow. If there's any. The slides for this will be on online. Yeah, yeah I, I agree a bit. Take it online. So actually, you, you can see it online now at, uh, at pythonme.wordspread.com. Uh, sorry. Uh, here it is. Yeah. I'm sorry. So it's uh, Python me. Yeah, the, 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 this address, Python me. Or the, and I, I, I take a link to the slide share. So you can download the slide from that. Okay. Uh, uh, in your presentation, you mentioned about the, uh, the surf library to extract the feature. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of features is extract? Because that depends on the problem, we could define the feature vector. So what is the yeah? So so in the in in the the demo, I just uh, in in the in the in talk, I just take the surf as a, a we have another kind of feature, the sieve, the surf, and the, a lot of of a feature hard hit corner detector, right? So yeah, actually maybe we use um, the the fold here of, of the surf, maybe the histogram or gradient, I think. So that that is two different things. We uh, detect where is the interest, interest point and how to encode the reason. So here, I think the histogram of gradient. Okay, we don't have enough time for questions. Yeah, I'm sorry. So okay, to thank. Um, <coughs> thank you.